from Maurice. Now, Maurice emailed me and basically said, Hi, I'm a watcher of your videos on YouTube. Awesome! I'm doing some MDT 2012 stuff for some days for the following unintended in this in installation of Office 2013 with multiple language packs by MDT 2012. I have tried several options, but everything I have got some errors. Could you make a video for this? Sure, why not? That's what I do. I try to make everyone happy. So let's uh, uh let's close Firefox up. And this is my MDT environment. It's up and running. So this video is gonna be jam-packed with a lot of things. I'm gonna try to put so much into it, it might blow your brain up. Now, the first thing that I want to basically do is you want to get your ISO of your operating system. Uh, I believe Office 2013 is only working for Windows 8. So I got a copy of my Windows 8 uh, CD. Uh, and I basically right-click, import operating system, full set of sources, hit next. Uh, sources, you know, do the source directory, uh, name of the image, setup, and all that other good stuff. Okay. Boom. I'm actually gonna show you guys how to do that. So let me let me mount. Let me mount a. Uh, let me mount the Windows 8 CD in so I can show you what I did. So where are you? There you go. Boom. I'm gonna close this. Uh, browse. Uh, computer, it's a CD, okay it, hit next. Uh, give it a name that you want. I'm getting an exclamation point because, you know, it's a repeat. Okay, hit next. A summary, hit next, progress, confirmation, and that's it. Done. That's all you got to do, guys. That's, the only, that's, that's what you have to do to import an operating system with an MDT. And that's it. Almost close to go. Now, the second thing that you want to do is, is up to you. You can either... Um, import Office 2013 inside MDT or create your task sequence. Now, task sequence, I'm going to do it for you right now. I created a folder within the task sequence node. Uh, you can basically do whatever you want. The way that you create one is you right click, new task sequence, uh, give it a name, blah, 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 blah. Hit next. It's a standard client task sequence. Uh, you pick your OS. Most likely is the OS that you imported, which is Windows 8. Click on it. Click next. Specify a key, but most likely, if you're using a KMS server, which you guys could check one of my videos out with the KMS, how to set that stuff up. It's the link is right there, so you can check it out. And uh, if not, if you have a MAK key, you can do it that way. Hit next. Uh, provide all this information, all the goodies that you want. The, you know, home page, blah blah blah. Hit next. Apply a password. I'm gonna do uh, one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. That's the worst password ever. Hit next. Summary. Hit next. It goes through, and you create your task sequence. Now, the only reason that I'm doing this real quick is because I already created that stuff. Don't really need to touch the task sequence at all. Okay? You don't have to touch the task sequence at all. Now, the last step to make this happen, because again, he's deploying Office 2013. And he's trying to do it. Uh, silently and also push out a bunch of multiple language packs so one you got to get yourself a copy of office 2013 and uh, copy those files to wherever you want in your MDT folder because most likely you're gonna import that stuff into your MDT server uh, I kept it simple I kept it into a CD and I imported it directly into my node so the way I basically did it is I mounted the 2013 CD into my MDT 2012 CD, like I'm going to show you guys right now. There you go. Hit open. Don't want to. And what you do is inside, right click, hit new application. Application with source files is what you want. Hit next. Get all that good, good knowledge that you want. Blah, blah, blah. Hit next. Source directory is basically for me is going to be the CD ROM. Press OK. Hit next, blah blah blah. Command details most likely is going to be setup.exe, but it's not going to be only setup.exe. Office 2013, Office 2010, 2007, when you're doing with MDT, you have to add a little bit more uh, to your command line. But I'm going to show you guys how to do that. No worries. Uh, click next. 
nice little summary hit next again imports all the files into your MDT server and that's it you have uh, the application already imported into your MDT server so I'm gonna show you guys what I mean so once you press OK it's actually deploying all that stuff inside your deployment share application as you can see and these are all the files now there's a more little bit in here most likely you're gonna only see the N EN dash US English version now the English versions are your language pack now you probably see JA and HE those are my Hebrew pack and also my Japanese pack now this is where the language pack comes into play now you gotta find your multi language lang multi language language packs into whatever version you want for me I downloaded the Hebrew and the Japanese uh, you copy the Japanese and the Hebrew ones whatever whatever flavor of uh, language that you are going to import with your deployment get a copy of that and you want to place it at the root of your office 2013 MDT folder okay once again get those files drop in drop them inside your MDT folder where you place the office 2013 application so I dropped it everything in here boom once you do that make sure you close MDT reopen it again and if everything works well you're probably gonna see something like this so I'm gonna double click on this go to office products and you're probably gonna see your office language right here most likely you're gonna see this okay but you click on the drop down you want pro plus to give you all the goodies now product key I enter product key most likely I have a MAK uh, product key so I enter that customer name display level I did it basic because basic it just gives you a nice little window showing you that office is installing if you don't want that display you could basically hit none uh, you do want to accept the EUL uh, and always suppress a reboot you don't want to you don't want office 2013 to reboot your deployment when it's in process uh, once you do that that's about it once you check whatever languages you want to deploy that's it guys you basically apply it once you apply you right click on it update your deployment and that's it now I already have a machine already to already pixie booted and it's up to this point right here for me to pick a task sequence and I'm gonna pick up my Windows 8x86 image which is this task sequence right here and I'm gonna pick next now as you can see I have all the default stuff in here and the reason why because I haven't really customized my my custom settings I and I file Ugh, I got kinda lazy and I don't really want to do it so I got all this junk that I have clicked next 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 uh, a lot of people eliminate all that stuff because they're trying to make less clicking you know uh, at my job the way I have my production I basically click maybe two times and I walk away and then by the time I come back everything is done uh, office click next no no capture hit next uh, details okay and begin and from here you just basically walk away so do because Windows 8 is Windows 8 uh, it won't show you you gotta actually click on the desktop to see the rest of the goodies being pushed out for us it's the office 2013 so should kick in right now it looks like the mouse there it goes now you're probably saying how can I Bernardo how did you get the office 2013 to run silently without you clicking anything well I'm gonna take my mouse and put it over here so I want you to see that I'm not clicking on anything and I don't want I don't want you to think oh I clicked on something and it went through no uh, it's installing office 2013 silently without me touching anything so that's pretty awesome now remember the option that I did basic uh, the basic comes with this so I'm gonna go application office 2013 and then from there from there if you go into office office product remember I did basic that's the basic level that I want now to make everything run smoothly so you don't have to interact this is what you have to enter in the details tab of your Microsoft Office 2013 properties 
setup.exe, remember that's where we wrote when we import it, but you have to do slash config slash proplus.ww slash config.xml. Now, this little file right here basically tells Office, Office to push out all the goodies, especially all the all the language packs. So I'm going to show you where the file is actually located so I can show you how it looks. Go to D, Deployment, Applications, Office, and it is located right here. And this is the config file. If we go to Edit, as you can see, Add Images. So this config file is what Office uses as a like an answer file. So I'm going to go back into this and I'm going to move this to the side. And as you can see, Office 2013 is being installed without me even touching it. So that's pretty awesome. And that's it, guys. That's how you deploy Windows 8, 32 bit for me, and uh, Office 2013 with uh, language packs. Now, the language packs that I installed were uh, English, you know, duh, uh, Jap Japanese, and as well as Hebrew. And uh, that's about it, guys. That's uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video request. Uh, thank you, Maurice, for shooting me an email and letting me know what you wanted. And I'm hoping this helps out uh, you and as well as other uh, people that are looking into this uh, information about Office 2013. Uh, so I'll catch you guys later and peace out. Hey, guys. Uh, sorry, I forgot. I actually forgot to tell, show you how uh, the installation for the MDT stuff. So I'm going to do gonna go into my start so I can show you that it was successful in installing there you go let me open up word 2013 just want to show you guys that it installed with no problem I didn't want to leave you guys and saying that everything worked but I didn't show you that it was installed but here it goes uh, catch you guys again later